Welcome to the warm-up exercise for the YMI podcast called The Fantasy Restaurant. In here, my guests get to pick their favorite drink, appetizer, sides, and dessert. Oh yeah, also the main as well. Uh, by the way, anything goes in this restaurant. And Woody has a simple palate. He says he's not a foodie until we hit dessert. That is, uh, he picks out some very uh, specific things. To me, sounds very foodie-ish. Uh, at any rate... Hope you enjoy this meal with Woody. Woody, thank you for joining me in the fantasy restaurant today. My pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you All for right. seating me at a one top. <laughs> for sure. Well, it is, uh, I mean, you obviously have been on the list for quite a while. I don't think you realized it, but uh, we had a place waiting for you. And so here you are. Right time, right place. All right. So in this restaurant, you get to pick your favorite meal now this could be things from your childhood this could be stuff your mom used to make your grandma used to make this could be stuff you make today this could be something from your favorite restaurant could be something from your favorite movie or fantasy novel and this meal absolutely has to make no sense except to you and even then maybe it doesn't have to make sense to you i don't know so no rhyme or reason no wrong answers i'm going to start you out at the start so uh what are you what are you gonna have to drink um i'm i'm like a i'm a tap water uh, room temp, no ice kind of guy. Tap water, room temp, no ice. Why Why room temp? I don't know. I just like it. It seems to slide right down. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like to blur the lines between the interior of my body and the exterior. And, uh, <laughs> you know, tap water seems to take me there. I like it. Uh, I like it room temp when I want to drink a lot. It's so much easier uh -huh. for me to chug it down. That way I don't right, get the brain Right, 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 right. Yeah. Right, 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 right. So I'm just thinking you're you're just preparing for efficiency. Yeah, I hope Roof so. Roof temp. All right, what is the what does the glass look like? If we're just doing regular tap water, there's got to be something interesting going on with us. Oh, yeah. I mean large. You know, I drink a lot of water, so um a big glass. Um maybe something crystal even. Huh? I take large, that. Um large crystal glass. Yeah, like not quite a goblet, something with a flat bottom. You know what I mean? So like a <laughs> like a crystal mason jar would really work for me. Uh, you know what I'm imagining is uh, whenever you finish a glass, you just smash it on the ground and bring you another one. Yeah, and you yell exactly. "Opa" in between. Okay. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and it's always sugar glass, so the the cleanup is really safe. <laughs> Excellent. Which you have All to right. drink really fast. Yeah, absolutely right. <laughs> All right, so we've got your drink sorted now. The appetizer portion are you an adventurous appetizer -y? what are we no, doing no i'm not i'm not like much of a food person in general that's why this exercise is so boggling um <laughs> for an appetizer um maybe like a maybe like a bowl of shredded wheat you know i'm like a <laughs> breakfast guy so like okay. some shredded wheat frosted or not i'll leave that up to the discretion of the uh -huh. chef yeah Oh. All right. Well, I, generally when the chef's left to his own devices, uh, he will do a mix. So he'll do half and half. Oh, sure. Okay. That sounds right. That little sounds column right. A, little column B. That way you don't have yeah. to, uh, you don't have to choose. You get them both. Lighten the load a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. There That's you are. Great. All right. Appetizer sorted. Now is the interstitial period in between, you know, everything in the meal. I call it the bread slash salad slash soup portion. Are you sure. interested in any of that? Yeah, here's the thing is I was like uh, initially going on a breakfast all uh, breakfast all the way track but like when am I ever going to turn down a good salad, you know? In the in the heritage of Elaine Bennis, I love a big salad. So <laughs> I feel like um yeah, I'll go for a salad. All right, well, what's the perfect salad for Woody? I mean, just like if your pet rabbit would like it, so would I. Kind of generally, you know. I've been accused before of um when I describe like things I generally eat, people are like, well, those are ingredients. That's so not a meal, <laughs> which I would say, uh, you know, come see, come saw. I don't, I don't think that's a correct usage, but you know, like whatever, whatever works for you. But uh, yeah, rough, just roughage, just roughage. like, just throw it in a bowl. Like I'll even wash it myself in the tap water. You know, <laughs> I, I don't, I'm a very low stakes um, food guy, you know? Sticks couldn't be lower. <laughs> okay. This sounds like a very interesting restaurant. Uh, you're finding this is very DIY kind of yeah, sort of thing. It's like a, it's a farm to table situation, but it's really just like um, a picnic table in somebody's garden, you know? So like it is farm to table, but 
All right. Well, really, a, a with, your, with your roughage, do you do any uh, dressing? Do you put any cheese I mean, on there? I mean, what are we doing? No, no cheese for me. You know, I stick to the I, I stick to the vegetable root. But like, give me some maybe some sunflower seeds, maybe a little um, new yeast. You know, uh, maybe a little. Um, pickled onion and then just some like uh oil and vinegar you know i'm a simple I gal like I, I you are after my own heart here a little yeah. oil and vinegar i like a simple yeah. oil and vinegar as well just give me again just i'm all about the veg just give me that veg Maybe I, and like in my opinion if a salad's good it can pretty much stand on its own you don't really need that much dressing i mean i would argue the same i'm with you there oh, there you are all right well we've got that sorted now Perhaps the main attraction, the uh, the main dish. What are you What are you going for your main course? Wow. Okay. Again, it's like breaking the flow of the continuity of the meal. But I, my mom is also not a cooker. I didn't grow up in a house of cookers. Um, we can we all keep each, ourselves alive. But um, again, we're like more of like a, an ingredient kind of kind of vibe. <laughs> but one of her like signature things was a really good omelet. I love a good omelet. Um, and I don't think that this was unique in any way, but it really made me feel special. She'd do this big fat omelet and then put it under the broiler right at the end so that it cooks oh. the top as well. And you get what? that little like, yeah. So like it's all in the pan and then right at the end, you just do like a couple of minutes under the broiler. So it's essentially, it turns out to be like a giant egg pancake, but it's just like absolutely perfect. Fold it in half, throw it on a plate, hit me. I, well, what's in your omelet? I mean, again, like whatever. You know, <laughs> whatever. I love a mushroom. I love a veg. Um, again, if like a gerbil would be excited, I'd be excited. All right. So we're going to have a lot of green pellets in there. I, I see. Yeah, that's that. right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Somehow put it into a bottle with a little ball at the end that I have to work really hard <laughs> to get. Yeah. All right. That so would work for gonna, me. So, so we're talking a vegetarian omelet then. We're going that route. Yeah. You know, again, it's like, a, it's the difference between fantasy and reality is like, in reality, I'm a vegan and have been for a long time. And, uh, you know, that can be kind of insufferable. So like, <laughs> you know, uh, ideally I'd be in a place where like, I didn't have to specify that it was vegan. It would just like come to me that way. Cause like, you know, people can get pedantic about that, but yeah, okay. I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a meat guy. I, uh, I had somebody in do this, setting. this, uh, <laughs> Right, right. Not across the board. I get it. I had somebody yeah. do this, and they uh, they had all these allergies, and so all of their meal was stuff that would kill them. And they're like, you uh, know, if it's a fantasy, I want to eat all the stuff I'm not allowed to eat. So, oh, right, sure, 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 sure. Kinda, I guess that could be true. Yeah, depends I'm not on which a, direction you want to go with it. That's true. I mean, I feel like if I wanted to eat something now, I would just eat it. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm not into that denial of the self thing uh, when it comes to food. But yeah, I feel like, um, yeah, no, even in my fantasy, like meat and cheese don't really call to me. You know, I was describing to somebody lately, like the stretch factor is not something I look for in food, which is why like cheese doesn't feel that important to me, <laughs> you know? And they were really taken aback. But like, I really think that's 90% of the cheese experience is the like pull of it. You know what I mean? I guess like not all cheese is melted, but like, you know, yeah. when somebody's like, oh, I really want my favorite pizza. I really think what they're picturing is the like, is the like, um, are you afraid of the dark style, like cheese pull, you know? Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. just like not a texture I personally need in my food. But if somebody else, <laughs> if that's important to them, like go off, go for it. For sure. For sure. I don't yuck anybody's yum. I get it. I no, am, do it. And like for me, like on a pizza, I don't like too much cheese because I think you could definitely mm. over. I think in this country we over cheese things and we over bacon things. Wow, hard line, but I agree I with you. It's a hot take, but I'm willing to die on that hill for sure. Uh huh. I love a green pizza. I love a white pizza. Oh, I, I do mean? too. Oh yeah. yeah, I love a white pizza. Yeah. Oh, it's such uh -huh. a good change of pace. All right. Anyway, oh, yeah. we're talking to we, we're going off topic here. So, what uh. are you going to pair as a side with this omelet, or do you even oh, want a side? I mean, some crispy taters would be nice. Ooh, a hash brown situation. Uh, really, like a tater in any configuration except mashed potatoes. Is that controversial? I'm not a, I'm not a mashed potato guy. No, no, no. I think I think it's okay. You're you're okay. definitely you're definitely about textures, and so you know what you like. I get it. Yeah, that's you know what's right. so funny is I was picturing like uh, like home fries. You know where they take like oh, yeah. the new potatoes and they quarter them oh, up. Yeah. So oh, I yeah. uh, like pan fry them with a little uh, uh -huh. garlic. You know, mm -hmm. a little bit of salt mm -hmm. on there. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, this is killing me. I haven't eaten for a while, so uh, 
I, a Brenner is always a, a good choice. We're, we're coming yes. up that time of day. That's right. All right. Lun- so luncher. Okay. I, I'm curious, uh, the ingredient guy, what are you going to go for, uh, your dessert? What is that going oh, to look lo- like? I love a cinnamon roll. I love a cinnamon roll. It's really <laughs> just my favorite assortment of food types. You know, it's like, it's yeasty. It's warm. It's um, spicy, you know? And it's topped <laughs> with that little icing. I love it. I love a little icing on top, as anyone who's ever slept with me can attest. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I love it. A cinnamon roll is maybe one of my, like, favorite types of dessert, you know? Mm. All right, so there are different cinnamon rolls that I've had in in, in my past. Some have mm. nuts, some are soft all the way through, some have like a crunchy exterior like on the top but soft inside. Like like what constitutes the perfect cinnamon roll? I like a little um I like a little mouth feel. I like a little a little crisp on the outside just to touch and then really gooey mm. on the inside. I don't need it soft all the way through. Some yeah, some some fine nuts, some candied nuts would be nice in there. <laughs> um and then, like, not too heavy on the icing. I don't. Icing is not the star of the show for me. It's really all about the like warm, soft breads, you know. Mm, mm, for, and I am a huge cinnamon fan. Like, I, I absolutely Ugh. cannot get enough of it. I love it, cinnamon and all its all of its cohort. You know, that kind of like apple pie spice cohort really works yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah. And like uh, when I think of you know, like the holiday season and stuff like that. It just to me, I just think about cinnamon. Oh yeah, nutmeg and all that good stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, let me read your uh, menu back to make sure I don't screw it up when I hand it to the kitchen. So we are going to do tap water, room temperature. It's going to be in a large (laughs) crystal glass that you can or can't throw in the fireplace if you choose. Uh, Whenever we hear you scream, Opa, we know you need a refill. So you never have to worry about running out. Uh, Perfect. We are going to do a bowl of shredded wheat. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) It's going to be mixed. I didn't even ask, like, do you want some kind of milk to go with this or are we eating this dry what are we doing oh yeah some oat milk would be great oat milk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like a really thick oat milk <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, talk about textures that is not one of my favorites that does not spark joy <laughs> <laughs> i hear you i mean uh i'll take it i'll take yours as well. <laughs> all right and then we are going to do a pet rabbit salad but we're going to fill that with like sunflower seeds, pickled onions, all the good accoutrement. And on the side, we've got a little bit of uh, oil and vinegar so that you can kind of add to taste. Love that it. That works for you. Then we're going to do an omelet, a big fluffy omelet. But right at the end, we're going to throw it under the broiler. And that thing is going to be vegan. And it's going to have everything under the sun. We're going to have mushrooms, onions, maybe some bell peppers, uh, you know, whatever, whatever we have in the kitchen that's just the freshest of the fresh we're going to throw in there. Love it. Side, we're going to do uh, crispy potatoes. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of hash brown. We're going to have a little bit of home fries as well. So that way you get a little mixture of taste and textures. Uh, last, we're going to bring it all home with a cinnamon roll with just enough icing, maybe a little bit of candy nuts, and then uh, slight crisp exterior, but gooey in the middle. Does that sound correct? It's great. It's great. All right. It's a fantasy, all right. you might say. <laughs> well, thank you for joining me in the fancy restaurant today, Woody. Ugh, what a delight. I know. I'm I'm full already. <laughs> <laughs>